Hi, it's Mitch Wagner from Light Reading and Mobile World Congress with Peter Malloy from Palo Alto Networks. Hello, how are you? Good, Mitch. Good, good. You. good. So you, you're responsible for Asia-Pacific sales for... Correct. Uh, I've got uh, direct reporting for the telcos in uh, Australia and Singapore, and then I've got overlays for a number of the Asian countries around APAC region. So what are, what are the big security needs that those organizations are facing these days? Uh, like many SPs around the, uh, the globe, they're, they're concerned about the threats that are coming in. Um, what we're finding in terms of the POCs that we've been, PSCs that we've been running, uh, the biggest value proposition they're, they're currently seeing is just the visibility that they've never had before about the threats that are coming into their network and traversing their network. Okay, and, and, and how are you meeting those needs? Um, well, <clears throat> we've got some fairly unique capability in terms of our ins ability to inspect uh, mobile packets within the uh, mobile tunnels, sorry, the packets within the mobile tunnels. Uh, the, the customers that we're speaking to are seeing that as a very high, va a strong value proposition. And um, we've had Telcom Cell that's been announced in a Forbes article, for instance, that's currently deploying our solution. Mm -hmm. And we've got a number of other uh, customers around the region that are currently involved in PSEs that we look like uh, having some successful outcomes with. So are there, are there special needs that we're seeing in APAC that are maybe different from other regions of the world? Uh, well, in Singapore specifically, um, the CSA, the Cyber Security Agency, and IMDA, one of the departments that are alongside that, have come out with some fairly um, stringent uh, reporting requirements around malware and threats that, are, uh, that come across service providers. Uh, up until uh, December when the document was released, those sort of requirements from a regulatory perspective weren't um, in the market. They are now uh, in that, and that's actually driven uh, at least one of the PSCs that we're involved in at the moment. Uh, Australia has got a softer stance with that, but we're seeing more and more government and regulatory bodies taking a stronger um, direction to the service providers to maintain security across their networks, particularly as it uh, impacts or potential to impact uh, critical infrastructure within the countries and regions. So in, in the Asia Pacific region that you're responsible for, are we seeing much activity with regard to 5G at this point? Uh, yes, in fact. Um, 5G and particularly the whole NBIOT uh, conversation is extremely strong and relevant across the region. Uh, we're seeing a lot of interest. I mean, for instance, you will have seen uh, announcements from Telstra um, at, this, uh, at the Mobile World Congress about some plans they've got around uh, mobile edge uh, computing and driving applications out to that and partnering with some of uh, our pa alliance partners like Ericsson. But uh, they're already up and running with trials. Uh, other telcos around the region are moving down that path, so it's a strong, strong focus uh, across the region. Okay, and how, how can you help out there? Well, particularly, again, whether it's 4G or 5G, I mean, threats traversing across the network, I mean, there's a strong belief that uh, 5G, unlike 4G, should be uh, secure by design. Mm -hmm. There's that piece. The second piece is because there's this uh, expected boom or growth in terms of IoT devices hanging off these networks, uh, there's a strong interest uh, from the end user consumer groups at both the major enterprise and critical infrastructure level to have an ability to have a secure network that protects uh, those end user devices from you know, being infected within the network. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. No, my pleasure. Yeah.